Hello, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot, rune, and oracle reading for the week ahead whenever you are finding it. You have Rido coming out in reverse. And to me, this is the rune of time. And I, f I learned a way of looking at life recently from a shamanistic perspective where as time goes on, it gets more chaotic things fall into disrepair. For example, you build a beautiful home and it's amazing, it's fresh, it's great uh, when you first build it, but then through the years, you know, things start falling apart, it descends into that chaoticness. And it's our job as humans to sort of keep things clean and repaired and new again. Um, you know, as time goes on in the forests, uh, timber falls and fruits fall off the tree and it's our job as humans to clear the timber, use it as firewood, eat the fruits, etc. to restore that harmony, that peace back into the earth. Now, how this looks for you this week with this energy, this theme coming up, there may be certain things falling into disrepair um, or that chaoticness that time brings that is needing your attention. So this may literally be like your car or your home needing some updates or repairs that sort of take you away from what you're trying to build and focus on and do in the present moment. And understand that this is a way of life. This is how life works and it's no need to get upset over it, you know? This could even be relationships, friendships of some sort, needing your time, your energy, your attention in order to not fall into disrepair. This could be your health. This could be many things needing to get things fixed up. And you may be looking at it as like such an awful thing, so annoying that you're getting distracted um, from what you're trying to focus on in order to repair things. I'm seeing for some of you, or like literally one of you watching, this may be your teeth. I'm seeing if that's you comment down below um where you may like have some cavities or need some root canal or something it's like things falling into disrepair and you're needing to work on it work through it and it's a disruption it really is but you know it's no reason to get upset over because this is required of life you know this is a part of life and we all go through it so there's no need to get up in arms about it all right we have service coming through yeah i feel like you're acting sort of like as a servant to reality to this world this week so this week may be filled with like mundane things such as doctor's appointments cleaning um car repair maintenance things like that honestly it says you stop using the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you you offer all and want to be of service ironically many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation when you say to the universe like i just want to be of service to the world i want to be useful to this world i want to maintain this world like when you start looking at your life's work from that perspective you really do manifest so much more all right we have chakra clearing coming out. Yeah, I don't know why I'm seeing this as like releasing, cleaning, um, letting go, repairing, maintenance type of week. Energetically, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. It says Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So call upon Archangel Metatron to help facilitate this energy cleanse that we keep reading into and you know helping you to maintain um, a beautiful strong energy for yourself we're gonna get six cards two rows of three from the marseille cat tarot to further elaborate on this week ahead and everything you need to know and you're starting off with the knave of swords okay this is a very youthful energy for some of you this is someone who is younger than you um they could be a child or if you are in a traditional career this could be like you having an apprentice or someone that you're teaching which is amazing like you're taking on a student i'm seeing for a lot of you who's very open-minded and um how do i even put this their energy feels really fresh like lemons um i'm seeing like lemony minty <laughs> energy i know that makes no sense but i really do feel like many pisces are taking on students of some sort or teaching someone something which is really exciting. Um, and this can literally just be children if you have children, by the way, like, or in the workplace, you're teaching someone a skill that you've developed. Uh, I guess for a few of you, this could be you being the student as well. Um, but there may be other ways in life, areas of life in which you are the teacher. Usually I find that the student teacher 
archetype um, goes hand in hand. So a lot of teachers learn so much from their students and a lot of students teach so much to their teachers. So that archetype will be coming out in your life this week for sure. Second row of cards out is the High Priestess. Oh my gosh, Pisces, I love this. In your energy, really spiritual week, feeling really connected to your spirituality, your intuition. Uh, your spirit guides. Some of you may be doing some sort of ritual, meditation, yoga, um, mental health walks. You know, what do you do for your personal spirituality? For me, I journal three long pages every day. I meditate every day, multiple times a day. I shamanic journey every day to do work in the spiritual realms, get answers, things like that. So I do a lot, but that's just because that's my field of work. Obviously, I make these videos, for example. What do you do for your spiritual connection and your practice? I feel like you're doing more of that this week, which is great. Third card out is the lovers. Oh, this also came out for Scorpio. I wonder if some of you are in love with the Scorpio. I don't know, it could be any sign, but oh my gosh. Beautiful energy here. Obviously the lovers is great for relationships. I'm honestly feeling like a more spiritual type of union that you may be experiencing with someone, even if it's not at a romantic level, there may be someone that you meet who's really into the same stuff as you, especially stuff like this, like tarot, spirituality, things like that. For some of you, I'm seeing a very specific way that you meet them too, where you may be literally teaching them something. Like you may be teaching them um, a certain skill in your workplace and then you get to talking to them and you're really into the same stuff, for example. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Or like just in general, you meet someone and they're a good friend, good lover, whatever, um, feels really great and connected. And on top of that, you learn so much from them, they learn so much from you and you share a lot in common. So this is really great. And I feel like your intuition is strongly guiding you towards positive stuff in your life. We so often talk about how your, you, your intuition will warn you about what to avoid, but also on the flip side, your intuition will really urge you to go towards someone, to make friends with someone, to talk to someone, to take up an opportunity, to do something. And so listen to your intuition. I think you are gonna listen to your intuition uh, this week when it comes to that. I also, I can't shake this feeling of doing so much spiritual work. Some of you may be getting like Reiki or like massage, acupuncture, um, focusing on feng shui and reorganizing, um, something like that, even just like meditating, breath work. I am coming back to all of these things, sound healing, sound bathing, whatever it's called. Very interesting. Some of you may be getting into a relationship with someone who's very spiritually minded um, or even like a friendship of some sort. So there's a lot here. All right, second row of cards out, fourth card is the 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 of cups. <laughs> Sorry, I this de the only problem I have with this deck is that half of the minor arcana cards have numbers and the other half don't. So I literally have to count them. 10 of cups upright is literally the card of long-term happiness and fulfillment. Oh, my nails match the background of this card. Um, so it's a good card for family, for love. I mean, having the 10 of cups and the lovers come out, guys, it's a good week to fall in love, to be in love. Also, I'm seeing a lot of happiness with family. You may be going to some sort of family dinner, family get together, which will go really great. It's a lot better than the last one, I feel guided to say. So I don't know what happened at your last family get together or gathering of friends or something of that nature um, that you know didn't go so great, but it'll go a lot better this week I'm seeing. Very interesting. Um, yeah, this is also a card of like starting a family, really being into your family. If any of you have pets or children, I really see you spending quality time. Oh my God, you guys just made me realize I did not feed my cats and I was supposed to feed them like three hours ago. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Um, you, <laughs> you're really spending quality time with family, with friends. Uh, this may be a very social week for you. You're really having heart to heart conversations and connecting with people. It's, it's great. All of these cards are good. All of them are upright so far. Let's see what the other two are. I guarantee you the next one's gonna be like in reverse. And of course I was right. Yep, <laughs> eight of swords in reverse. <laughs> Awful card in reverse. I just totally jinxed that guys. I'm so sorry. This card talks about like being anxious, feeling stuck a little bit. So I feel like this is why you need to do this chakra clearing and focus on your spiritual practices because it just, I don't know how to describe it. 
um, in your energy field, it feels like there's just a lot of like loose things, like loose energies that just need to, you know, find a home or like, you know, get cleansed away. This could even be in your home. There may be like a lot of random junk everywhere that doesn't have a home as we say. Um, so this can talk about like organizing your house, cleaning your house, organizing your energy, doing energy cleansing, um, on top of being super social and finding a way to teach people. And by the way, like you can be a teacher without having like a direct one-on-one -on -one apprentice or student. Some of you may feel guided to teach through your like Instagram account, for example, or create a YouTube channel or a podcast or write some sort of book. I don't know why I just got the message. Someone watching is trying to write a textbook. So that will be successful if that's you. And if that is you, comment down below. Final card out is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of pentacles in reverse. And the seven of pentacles does talk about um, working hard towards what you want to manifest and being open to learning. It's again, that student teacher type of dynamic here. I, I just feel like a lot of you watching have this inner calling to be like a spiritual teacher or if not spiritual, like I'm seeing science, teaching some sort of science, some sort of skill. It doesn't matter what the skill is. I feel like you have a skill or some sort of connection that's really beautiful. And there is an inner calling within you to teach the masses about this. And there may be a certain idea that comes through that will allow you to teach the masses and i feel like you should go forward with it for a select few of you this is literally through your current job like if you work for someone else they may be giving you someone um, that you are teaching which you know also will fit the bill so um just pay attention to the ideas you have at this time and go forward with it if any of you had this idea to be of service spiritually um, to your community or, or do something on your own to like teach people something i think you should go forward with that i'm also seeing some of you have this idea to start a sort of like spiritual side hustle <laughs> um go forward with that as well before you get started definitely do an energy cleanse though my favorite thing to do before i start a really good amazing big idea is to literally just clean my whole house and even sometimes in my life when i feel like i'm ready to take on new energy new lessons new relationships i just have this drive to clean literally so if you've had that recently that is why you're starting a new cycle a new work cycle or like with your um, life purpose where you are going to be teaching other people more so that is beautiful and on top of that, your relationships are looking good. This is a good week. Thank you guys for joining me. Watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of the week ahead. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.